I don't think there's anything more refreshing than ice cream on a hot summer day. And when I think of ice cream, I can't help but think of John Baraccioli of Sono Bakery in South Norwalk, Connecticut. Today we're thinking summer and we're yes. thinking um, herbs mm. and, and stuff mint. like that. Look at this, a handful <laughs> of beautiful fresh mint. This is peppermint? This is, I, I thought spearmint. it was uh, spearmint, but I don't know, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. It's either or, it doesn't really matter. And actually uh, a peppermint. mixture, is it peppermint? Uh, a mixture of mints is, is always a... What do you think? Well, taste I think, the stem. I think it's peppermint. I think you're right. Yeah. Um, Sometimes some mint is uh, spearmint, some mint is peppermint. The so. most important part is that it's washed and spun dry. You want right. to get as much of the water off of it as possible. And then we're basically making a tea. Um, we're steeping the, the fresh mint in the, in the milk and heavy cream, so which is going to be... Two cups of heavy cream. Two cups of milk. Right, and a pinch of salt. Always a pinch of salt. Pinch I of learned salt that from cream. John Baricelli. Right. Yes. And then we just bring that to a simmer, and then you can either cover it or just let it steep. Um, so you, you call this tea? I call it oh, like a tea because we're just like infusing the natural tea. oils yeah. out of the, the leaves. So this is basically done, and then as you can see, it picks up the color yeah, of the. Yeah, it does. It's um, not going to be a bright green uh, no, this mint is natural. ice cream. This is right. natural mint ice cream. Same with pistachio. People don't realize when you make pistachio ice cream, it's not green. It's, no, no. It's, it's a very subtle, almost like a yellow in, yeah, in a sense. A little bit like your shirt. Yeah, a little, little bit like that. So anyway, so this has been steeping for an, at least an hour, but you could do it overnight, put it in the fridge. We're okay. going to strain it. I'll do that. And then um, you can see that, and you want to press out as much of that liquid as possible. You can see the nice mm. color that it's picked up. It's, yeah. it's subtle, but more importantly, the flavors are there. The oils from the mint and, and all of the natural flavors. Mm. And then that becomes the liquid that we start the ice cream base with. So if okay. you were making vanilla, obviously you would skip this whole step and just use the two cups of... And you can use skim milk instead of the whole milk, you know, depending on how much fat you want. Oh, so here so we good. go. Okay. All right, and then we have... Oh, is that another one? Over okay. here is the swap out because we oh, okay. do want to heat this up. So this is on a simmer. Um, we're going to get this to the point where it, it comes to a boil. And then we're going to whisk. If you want to do that for me, okay. please. Remember when you're you doing all the talking, I'm doing all the work. <laughs> <laughs> all you did was turn the flame on. Uh, if, ah. Never pour the sugar directly onto the egg yolks, okay? You want to make sure that that sugar is, is being whisked into the egg yolk. Otherwise, we burn that, that egg yolk. And you get little pieces of egg yolk that you'll never get out, um, even through straining. Oh, good, so I'm doing so it right, right? You're doing it right. Okay. Here you go a little bit faster, and then... Okay. <laughs> Work harder, Martha. Work faster. Otherwise... Okay, and then we're going to make what we call the creme anglaise, which is the okay. base of, of all ice cream. Okay, so let's go ahead and temper this real quickly before we run out of okay. time. Just a okay, couple so ladles in. Tempering is taking the boiling liquid and incorporating it into the egg yolks and sugar. And we're bringing up the temperature right. of this mixture so it won't curdle when we go back in here. Okay, you can come back in okay. right away. So we can put that in, right? Right, go ahead. And then this really just takes about a minute. And just just to cook the egg yolk. Just to cook that egg yolk. Without curdling them. Right. And then we're going to strain this into All an right. ice bath. This is just about ready. What, coating when it, the back of a spoon? When it coats the back of a spoon and you have that little bit of oh, a line that drops. Okay, okay, so we're just going to strain that real fast. Let it rest. And this is the custard that you're going to put into your ice cream maker. <gasps> now this is how I like to make mine. Nice. And you just press down gently on it. And get that right into the freezer. Yeah, this is, yeah, right into yeah. the freezer because it's a little soft and it slides mm. a little like that. But just to get this mm. one more twist, you could roll this in mini chocolate chips mm. and then freeze them. And that would give you just another texture inside well, of that cookie. We froze ours in little glassine bags. Right. And here you have a fantastic ice cream sandwich. And you know, what I find is that... People really, really love ice cream sandwiches. You can serve this at a fancy dinner party and no one will complain, right? No one will complain. Oh, that ice cream is so good.